Good evening all. Um, a quick mail call and then we have finally, after six weeks, two that Spider-Man booth mystery boxes to open. I never expect, as you can tell, if the prizes for that week were slabs, we did not win, but they feel pretty heavy. So, but first a quick eBay purchase. I think I know what it is. But, oh, double packed. Double packed. Let's take a look. Oh, way too much tape again, but oh well. We'll just take care of it the old fashioned way. Now, these are, I bought extras of something I wanted. I gave one away, so I needed an extra. And I wanted the full ver first version of it too, so I'm assuming that's what these are. Let's get this thing out of here. So, <sighs> these should be fairly simple, fairly straightforward. Cut this thing, it looks like they actually made it sticky going across here. But when it comes to that Spider Man booth, I do it kind of just for fun because I mean, there's like a 2% chance we're actually going to win anything. And on top of that, it's all new books. Okay, these should be the same thing. One is the Arthur Adams variant cover for the Joker's 80th. And. This is the regular cover. I never did get the regular cover out of all the ones I had. I never got the standard cover. So if I understand, this is the standard covered. So, by Pakulo. Capulo? Jeez, I'm bad. And then I had given away my Arthur Adams one to a friend of mine. So I wanted to go ahead and replace that. So, no big deal. I have about eight covers of those now. Now, we know we got the first one. We know a lot of these are going to be variant covers, not many old things at all, and the price tags on them are rarely ever anywhere near what they're worth. I will actually be heading down Friday to Frank and Sons in California, and I'll go by their booth. I might pick up a random one of these. They sell them, but you're, you don't really get a you know a chance of getting big out of it. But they sell them for twenty five dollars on site. Might pick up one. These were what uh, sixty with free shipping, but you use Gem Mint. His number and you get ten dollars off. So I paid fifty for two free shipping. So let us take a look. Okay, well we'll go from this side to that side. I'll close my eyes. Hopefully I didn't see what's on the back. <coughs> the blue beetle rebirth. Sorry to say, but it's probably about a two dollar book. Oh well. Next. Amazing Spider Man eight hundred variant edition. That is kinda cool. I don't have it, so Never know, maybe I'll just get it. Eh, we'll see. I don't know which variant edition it is, but I don't have 800, so that's kind of cool. Next up. <sighs> Another DC Universe Rebirth for the Green Lantern. This one will go to the kids. Next up. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one, Shredder. $20 they have on it. Guessing it's probably about a $10 book. And the final book. Ooh, actually it's kind of neat. I don't... It's some kind of virgin variant. I don't know which one or what it is, but it's definitely a cool cover. So, not bad. I mean, I'm happy with this time, but that'll go to the kids. This I'll keep. That'll go to the kids. We'll look these two up and see, but I really doubt they're $20 books. I'm guessing $10 books at best, and this is probably about a $5 book. So, you get your $25 out of it, and I'm happy with that. No big hits, even if it wasn't. Oh well. Okay, next one up. We'll go top to bottom again. And there's nothing on the back of this anyway, just as instant Mondays. They don't put pictures of the prizes. Ready, set, open. Scooby Apocalypse. You're freaking kidding me. I didn't even know they had a... Scooby Doo set like this. Okay, let's turn it over, close my eyes, in case there's anything neat in the bottom, which I got it. So here we go. Yay, um, D Scooby Apocalypse. That's kind of. And the adventure to the secret squirrel. I, I don't even want to know. Okay, next one. Ooh, Black Cat. Variant edition. They say worth $15. So. They're, you know, they're in good shape. There's nothing major on the. Nothing major. Might be worth getting. I don't know. 
Next one. Hey, look, another Hal Jordan Green Lantern. <sighs> I don't like DC very much, as you can probably tell. So this will probably go to the kids to read. Hey, a Venom number seven variant cover. I've heard about seven. I don't know why, but I did. Yep, looks like the last one's a variant cover too. But fifteen dollars, not bad. I still have yep. And the final, ah, the Spider Woman variant edition. This is the one they were giving out in their what do you call it in their special. I haven't gotten one, so this is the first one I have. This is Spider Man, Spider Woman number one. I doubt it's worth twenty bucks. I think the white one is worth a lot more, of course, because there's only 250 of those. But I do not have this one yet, so not terrible. <sighs> you get your money's worth in variant covers if you like them. I do say this one will probably go somewhere, but not to the kids. I really don't like the apocalypse idea for it. That'll probably go to the kids. And these three I'll keep for myself for now. <sighs> so, kind of a slow day. I will be gone out of down in Frankenson's for the next few days. So, I will set up some videos to post, and we will see how it goes. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I've got two more of these in the way at least, plus about three other mystery boxes, but I'm just kind of slowing down on them. A lot more eBay stuff coming, so, but thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.